Once you create a section, the section appears at the bottom left here under section name. Now we're going to input the materials. The way it works with Red Rhino estimating software is you do a detailed material takeoff, meaning you write down a list of all the materials necessary to be installed on a project and you input them into Red Rhino. Now you do that, you come over here and click Edit Takeoff in the electrical section. Click Edit Takeoff. When you do it opens up a new window. On the left hand side is where you locate the materials and it'll populate to the right. Let me show you what I mean. Right now the product catalog is open and you can see the different categories here 4,000, 7,000, 8,000, and 9,000. Right now I'm going to show you how to input materials from the 7,000 category which is titled electrical material and labor. That means there's both material and labor, material prices and labor for the, the items in 7,000. I click on the plus sign next to 7,000 it displays a subcategory or a list of materials. You can see the different ones here conduit supports, conduit fittings, conduit L's, etc. I'm going to scroll down and input some Unistrip parts. So I, I scroll down I see 416 here. I click on strut rod and fittings. I'm going to unsquinch this. I'm going to move this line over. See how you get a better view of it there. Now I'm just going to say that I need um, some deep uh, hole channel here. So I'm going to say I need 50 feet of it. So I click in this box by quantity and type in 50. I'm also going to say I need some threaded rod, some 3 8 rod. I scroll down here. I see my 3 8 rod. I'm going to say I need 40 feet of that. Type in the quantity here. Next I just click the Add button. When I do it populates materials to the right on the page to the right there. I'm going to click Save. We'll have a different view of it here. There. Now I'm going, to sh I'm going to explain this. This is how Red Rhino inputs materials on the takeoff page right here. Line 1 here is a description of the materials. It shows the UPC information, manufacturer, catalog number, and quantity. This is what's important. It shows a quantity of 50 feet. That's what I input. It shows the unit price here at $197.63 per hundred. Now you, gotta, you have to pay attention to what the unit of measure is here. Oftentimes the unit of measure, most often the unit of measure is set up just like you would buy the materials. If you bought if you bought a slotted channel or unit strut from a wholesale house, typically your invoice would look like this somewhat with the unit of measure shown uh, as per hundred feet. Now the program shows the unit price and then it shows the extended price meaning $98.82 is how much the 50 feet of unit strut cost. Next to the far right the program is set up to have labor hours to install the material. The program is set up for 6.6 .6 hours per hundred feet or to install 50 feet, the program spits out 3.3 hours. Okay, it works. This is the way that the input works on uh, each time. I should say each time that you input materials. Now back to catalog 7,000 here. There's other materials in here. As an example, let me just go in and add a condolet or an LB. I'm going to click on the plus sign next to 404. I click on 4041 condolets, and my condolets appear down here. Now, I'm going to use the example. I'm going to say that I have to input a one inch condolet, or oftentimes called LB in the trade name. I'm going to put in a quantity of one. I'm going to scroll down here to find its cover. So here's the one inch cover and gasket. I put in one of those. I click the Add button. Again, it populates the materials to the right. It has a description, unit price, extended price, labor hours, and extended labor. And that's how you input materials from Product Catalog 7000.